Hi, so it seems like there isn't really a tutorial for uh, patching or modifying cameras. So I'll be going over an example here. I'll be adding fog to Turtle Woods. Uh, the way I do it uh, is going to be the same I would do for like my mod, uh, for like mod pack. And it is uh, per camera, so you have to do it one by one. Uh, which is a bit slow, but uh, you have a lot of control and uh, for many properties you want to change the volumes uh, manually anyway, like you don't have the same uh, camera distance or the same uh, rain thickness. For fog, it's not the case. For fog, you usually have the same, uh, but it doesn't really matter because it's not that slow. So uh, at first, I'll get out the camera that actually needs uh, needs the patch. So in this case, uh, the fog property is a part of the second camera item, and it would be controlled by properties hex uh, 185, uh, which is a set of flags that dictate uh, many visual things such as uh, rain, fog, uh, snow, darkness, and probably a bunch of others. And the other one is uh, property 1DE, which contains the actual fog distance volume. And you should ideally have it in every camera, but if uh, it it should theoretically, theoretically work if you have it only in the first camera, but I usually add it to all of them. So uh, I'll just export this item and mark it as once fog. And then I'll have to get an item that actually has has fog, which in, in this case will be renation. And I'll be using the next zone because maybe the spawn doesn't have the fog uh, straight away. So, uh, first I can have a look at the, the, the item. Uh, this character explored, which you can find on my GitHub, and it has a bunch of small utility scripts as well as the rebuild thing, which I think I made a tutorial for. So this is for, for the, this is like a property view in a nice way. So this is the code. Uh, sometimes there's like a name if I knew what the property is at the time I wrote it. And then there's the header, which is a bunch of flags as well as the offset and uh, the camera code. And then there's the actual data. And so you can see that there's the property 1DE and uh, the distance is uh, 1F40 and then there's 185 and there's a bunch of flags there seem to be three flags so it's likely uh, some of them will be uh, for rain instead of fog and I know that uh, the flag two, uh, uh, 2000 hex is, uh, is for fog so after I copy it into the camera I'll be using, I'll also patch it. So I use prop replace and uh, the source item is the one that has the property and the destination is the one that it will be copied into. So the first one is 185 and the other one is uh, 1DE. So this was a camera that wanted fog. It might complain, or it doesn't, about like uh, entity length mismatch. But I think I fixed that. So uh, if you remember, nine thousand and two thousand, or ninety zero twenty zero, was the were the camera flags. So I'll be only keeping the twenty. And then there's uh, one at 40, which is the fog distance. And I'll be lowering it to uh, essentially half of that. So I can actually see it. 
and I'll just save. Shouldn't really be a need for camera or NSD patch. And as you can see, uh, the fog is there, and it's it's quite uh, near or quite thick. Um, and it only applies to the first zone because I only applied it to the first zone. So in order to have it in the entire level, uh, you'll have to copy it uh, into every single one of them. And another thing that uh, you may notice is uh, those orange or brownish uh, spots, which are simply uh, gaps between uh, polygons that would normally not be visible because they, they match the scenery colors. But with the scenery being dark, uh, they show up. So for that reason, you want to uh, change the background color. And to find the background color, you can just check the item and oh, I thought this was it. Hold on, which one did I put in? Oh, I put in the wrong item. Put in the wrong item. I put in the the ruination camera item, and here uh, the camera from uh, Turtle Woods has this background color. So if I it is just RGB or 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 the other way around. So if you zero it out, uh, the background color will become black. And so if I want to apply this to, to more things, uh, you can just export that. And this time the volumes are, uh, are what you want. So you just export. Uh, you can save it as whatever in the program it's just a common line thingy so uh, it has like history and the source item is the proper properties one and I'll be putting it in the fog one so uh, a faster way for that would be actually Replace this, which is the source, the destination, and then there's the, the property. So 185 and then there's uh, 1DE and then there was uh, 1FA, which is uh, item 1 background color. So I can just copy this. Uh, should not find it. Okay, wipe. So if I just copy this and paste it, it should apply all of them because it just takes a uh, standard input. It is being used by a different process. Well, it's not supposed to happen. Seems like the program didn't properly create the thing. That's unfortunate. But I have not seen it happen before. So as you can see, it was applied to the next zone. And you can do it fairly quickly if you just copy, copy the commands in instead of typing and typing them out uh, for darkness it will be similar but darkness won't work if you don't have fireflies or you won't see anything if you don't have fireflies or the player isn't the firefly so uh, it's a bit harder but this demonstration should uh, be good enough for you to replicate it for fog and of course you can change the fog distance and yeah that's it